What's up, you guys? We're here for our last reaction video for tonight, and of course, as you can see by the title, we're doing another Queen, Miss Hossa from Mama Moo, and her new single called Maria, which is like I guess her alter ego. Alter ego. Okay, you say alter ego name. name? That's the name she used for her Instagram. And, and she got a tattoo on her somewhere. They it. I don't know what Maria um, stands for for her. If you guys know, yeah, I think it is her English name. Um, if you guys know, please let us know in the comment section. But yeah, anyway, we're just gonna jump right into this video. This is her song called Maria. Hope you guys enjoy. Play for three, two, three. Oh. do that and then just end the video like that what the cute move i did wait a minute i gotta see the lyrics right quick because um that ended threw me off just now maybe it was like maybe it was like the pressure of like her being hostile yeah and how her friends came like supporting her mm -hmm. 
But when she did, well, this is not really her. This is her first album. There's a sadness buried under the uplifting beats in Maria. Hossa told the Korea Herald, and yet the song's message is not to be found in that sadness, but rather in Hossa's self assurance that she remains unap unapologetically herself, uh. strong in her identity and securing her work and talent. So basically, what it basically, um, her maintaining herself as an artist despite all the Controversy. Uh, yeah, try to make all the hard struggles she have to go through as a member of Mambu and also solo artist, I guess. But it's understandable because you know, yeah. especially when you have a solo, you, you have a lot of pressure on you trying to make sure your comeback is good and that people like it and stuff. Putting out music that you enjoy but not so sure if other people enjoy it mm -hmm. as well, that is a lot. Um, she released the album, so imagine how long she's been working on this. Yeah, I didn't even know she was making yeah. an album. As uh, busy as she is. Yeah, but I just like how, um, for me personally, Hwasa, how natural she is when it comes to just, um, like she said, being unapologetically herself. Mm -hmm. um, especially when when it comes to like dancing and all that, she really, and I think that's what draws people in about her. She's more natural. She don't try to be, like she said in the song, like no fake idol. She is true to her, you know, profession. That's right. And I think that's why a lot of people look up to her because she just got that queen boss mentality. Like, I run this show. Nobody right. else. It's me. I'm doing all this. Um, that's basically what the meaning of the song is, I guess. Um, interpret that. Uh, interpret, interpret it however you guys want to. I always liked her for her confidence mm -hmm. in herself. And, you know, being a curvy woman and, and stuff. Especially with the body image and stuff. And... Basically, people just fell in love for her, for her, mm -hmm. and I think that was just like a balance between her self and Mamu herself mm -hmm. as a solo artist, herself as just her Hossa. personal life. Mm -hmm. her and Ma Maria, or you know, I don't know what Maria is. Is it like I guess it's like a thing. I think it's like a merge of both Hasa and her solo oh, self, yeah, and true. made it like I said, her alter ego. Mm -hmm. I think that's what. It's yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes more sense. A friend of mine had mentioned though that Mama Moo reminds them of brown and girls. And yes, I really very see much that. So. And um Hwasa really reminds me of Gaian. Yeah. Because remember Gaian had that little whole kind of especially they with like the visuals of this video. Of and that's crazy. Like each member of brown and girls is similar to <laughs> members of uh, Mama Moo and it's kinda weird. It is. And they both kinda have a Ooh, similar kind of concept. That call it to so epic. Yeah, yeah, I see. Like, not trying to compare like that, but I, I really feel they like Mama Moo is the generation. new generation of Ma brown eyed girls. Brown eyed girls. Mm -hmm. If you guys don't know who brown eyed girls is, y'all need to know. Y'all need to know because they just they like Mama Moo. They me. are fabulous. Yes. And if you guys get into them more, you'll see what we talking about with the comparison of each members because. Mm -hmm. Hwasa and this envy really remind me of guy in her so They called them the adult idols. Mm-hmm, the adult idols, yeah. That was our reaction to Hwasa's money. I loved it. Me. That was, of course, money, yeah, yeah. Bravo, the concept, that was crazy. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Let us know in the comment section below. Would you guys stop? Give it a big thumbs up. Go support Miss Hwasa and all the other members of Mama Moo. Yeah. Um, go support her album too. Uh, we're gonna listen to that off camera, but you guys should still support her and all the other people reacted to tonight. Hope you guys enjoy all of that. Follow our social medias and links will be down below in the description box. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Mm. And yeah, that's pretty much it. It's Kiwi for Kiwi and Kiwi Sakura. Sakura. Always remember to God bless. See you guys. Bye bye. Bye bye.